Okay, so I put this drawer together to go inside the trunk that I am re renovating. Um, and I'm going to just quickly try and show you how I've put it together for a second one. I have what you call brackets here, which are, let's measure them properly, two inches and by ten inches and some that are eight and a half ish by two and then they're scored down the middle and that gives us our brackets I've got two end pieces which actually I've got I'll, oh yeah I'll cut the bit off hang on I'll measure these for you that's 11 and 3 quarter inches by 5 inches that's two of them and then I've got 5 inches again by 21 inches and then I've got 21 by 12 inches as you can see I've gaffer taped bits off and chipboard together and I've strengthened that um, join with an extra piece of gaffer tape in behind and that will go on the underside of the drawer obviously these are coming up the side we will put these along the side like so I'm going to need to cut a little tiny bit off of there seems okay just a little tiny fraction off yeah about see I've got just a tiny overhang there so I'm going to have to cut that um, put a pencil mark in oops so to attach these to the side as squarely as I possibly can get it what I did was gaffer tape along and then raise it up square and then put the braces brackets in to hold it in place so we'll go along here is hold this back a bit of stuck to you. Okay. Try and get perfect because 
it gets really difficult if you try and unstick this stuff. <laughs> Run some glue along here. Spooky down, baby. Okay. Double-sided sticky tape along the outside edges of one of the brackets, the longer brackets. Things. Spooky. Thank you, baby. Oh, because you're going to get glue all over you. these sides with some glue. stick it straight into the crevice because we want to get this as straightly lined up as possible and then take the 
other backing off. Ooh, that didn't quite work. do the same with the other side. We go with the end section that fits nicely in here and I will secure it with gaffer tape at the corners first and then 
brackets and underside. So. in the second end first. Let's turn it around so I can see better. to rock and roll. Might reinforce this a bit, I'm not sure yet, we'll, we'll see how strong it is once I start uh, rolling it in. Um, that's it, that's how you make a nice square box, or rectangular box technically. You can make it to any dimensions in much the same way. Thank you for joining me guys, much love, breathe easy folks, I'll see you again soon. Bye.